Hi everyone, my name is Karen and welcome back to my channel. I'm here with you today with a new idea for this video and it's about the series that I want to finish aka series, series that I started that I may have passed the half point of them but I still haven't finished them even though I really enjoyed the books that I read in those series so to kick things off the first series that I want to finish reading is Renegades by Marissa Mayer. Uh, first things first, I only had these two books before. I got them as a birthday present for, for my birthday last year, I think. And I got the third book in the newest not newest the only mini haul that i have on my channel that i'm gonna link up in the cards and um, this book series is about some people that can have some superpowers and some of them are good some of good some of them are bad this premise is really interesting and uh, we can see how one person from the bad clan has like some bit of can see what 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 the good people think even though that most of the time they don't really act it's a it's a really it's a good concept for these books and sometimes it's it reminds me of the the tv show uh, the boys i don't know why even though it's not that close to it because the good guys aren't that good in that tv show but this one i really like the ending of it because i it wasn't really i wasn't expecting it and but when i finished reading that book i did not pick up arch enemies because my excuse my excuse for that was that i did not have supernova but now that i have it i guess i should probably finish them so yeah I'm sorry in advance if my summaries of those books is, aren't that accurate because I'm kind of like poop at that. I really don't know how to explain books even though I have read them. So yikes. But yeah, that is the first book series that I want to finish. I started reading the first one, I finished it and I did not pick up the second one, but I will. As for the second series that I want to finish that I started and I want to finish it's The Raven Cycle by Maggie Stiefwater. I have read both The Raven Boys and The Dream Thieves. The Raven Boys I quite enjoyed it. It wasn't like an absolute favorite or anything. It was really good but The Dream Thieves I don't know. I, I have said it like multiple times when I mentioned this book that just I felt things when I read it. But to give you like a bit a crappy summary of everything, The Raven Boys, it's about a, a girl who is born into a, psy a psychic family, but she doesn't have like psychic powers of her own. But she can, um, what do we say, amplify the psychic powers of her family. But one day when she was at uh, the what was the day it's a it's a weird day that they have saint mark's eve it's the day they can see people that are gonna die in like the next year or so and she finds out that one boy with a she ha he has her age i think is gonna die and it turns out it's one of the four Raven boys and we have some mystical elements we have a bunch of things thrown together and it's really interesting I really liked it I like the writing I like the characters and the way it, the dream thieves ended it 
made me like it made me want to read the rest but i do not want to rush this series i don't know i quite enjoyed how my, the pace that i took reading the second book because i started it at the brink of a reading slump i picked it up like after a month and a half and i read it so fast but not so so fast that i didn't get all the ideas in my head that's i think that's one of the reasons as to why i prefer this one to the first one but uh i already think i read the prologue of uh, blue lily lily blue but i think when i'm gonna pick it up again i'm gonna reread it of course and i still have the raven king the fourth and final book in the series so this is definitely one series that i really need to finish soon because i really enjoyed the first two books and i really want to see how the end the story will end so yeah that's the second series that i really 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 want to finish but we will see when i will get to it because i'm barely reading this month and i'm barely doing anything related to book things except for like the books that i need to read for university engineering kind of sucks sometimes so yeah second series done not really done i have to read it but i said enough about it for the third book series that i want to finish it's one of my all all time favorite book series and i love it to bits and everyone should read it and it's the storm runner and the firekeeper trilogy I only have two books i won't have the rest i cannot find the third book anywhere i cannot find the shadow crosser anywhere and i so needed to be able to conclude this magnificent trilogy first things first just look at these beautiful covers they're so beautiful this is the storm runner and this is the fire keeper they are beautiful the Storm Runner is uh, the the entire trilogy is and it has a mythology base. It's a mythology based story because it's a Rick Riordan presents. Like every single Rick Riordan presents is a mythology based story, and they're all they are all middle middle grades. But yeah, I don't care. They're amazing. So it's about the boy named Zayn Obispo and he has a limp uh, he gets like bullied about it at school and everything but with the dormant volcano in his backyard he discovers with his dog rosie i think it's her name i think her name is rosie please let it be rosie i don't know if i can find it here it's her this is the dog yay Rosie, yay, it's the dog. The dog is named Rosie. I just checked and I'm happy because I know her name because she's the best. <laughs> yeah, and through the volcano in his backyard, he discovers like a link that he has to the Mayan gods and like the whole fate pantheon. Yeah, and like his life is turned upside down. Everything he knows, everything exists, existing is like because of something else. And he's thrown in a life of uh, adventure. And uh, yeah, as I said before, I'm really sorry for my crappy summaries. They have a goddess of chocolate and cacao, and it's Ish Cacao. Oh, that's why she's named is Cacao. So yes, I've read the first two books in the series and the third one came out the 1st of September of this year, 2020, The Shadow Crosser, and I cannot find it anywhere and I so need it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry, I want a book, I wanna read it, I wanna, I wanna fulfill my life with, I wanna, I want my heart to be happy because it, read the third book in this trilogy because i'm sure it's amazing and i need the conclusion to this series so that's the third book series that i need 
absolutely need to finish. As for the fourth series that I need to finish reading, and it's one, it's one of the best books that I've read last year, I think, and it's a Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Cameron. Yeah, this book is, like the sticker says that I can't remove, it's a modern retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It's about, like, it focuses on two main characters. It's Prince Ren, aka the Beast, and Harper, aka the Beauty. And it all starts, like, Harper's family, like her brother and I think her father, I think he left them though, and her mother. Her mother is, like, sick. I think and they don't really they don't really have the money to get all the things that is needed so her brother is with some bad people and once they came up to like collect things from the family but like Harper was not outside she wasn't there she was running away I think I don't I don't my summaries are crappy and like out of nowhere a knight is like took her and swept her away to another world kingdom world and it's the kingdom of emberfall and it's where like the only residents of emberfall are prince ren and gray gray is the knight and like the Gray took Harper because he thought he she's gonna be the key to break Ren's curse of being turning into the beast. And well, yeah, it's the Beauty and the Beast. It's the story of Beauty and the Beast with a bit of twists and uh, turns. And a heart, a heart so fierce and broken, like came out this year. And I uh, there's no copy of it no physical copy of it here i f i really hate it here sometimes and the for the third book of vow so bold and deadly is coming out next year and of course there's not gonna be there's gonna be zero copy of it here so this is the fourth series even though i have one book of it that I really need to finish soon because the story really is really gripped me. I think if I'm gonna re if I'm gonna somehow read A Heart So Fierce and Broken, I'm gonna have to reread A Curse So Dark and Lonely because I've forgotten a lot of it. So that's the fourth book series, and finally the fifth series that I really need to that I really need to to finish reading it's the bone season by samantha shannon i've read the bone season this year in june i believe and as a first book in the series that is gonna be like seven books long it's a really long series i believe that i really enjoyed like the whole idea behind the book so the summary for the bone season is according to like wikipedia the year is 2059 19 year old Paige mahoney is working in the criminal underworld of cyan london based at seven dials employed by a man named jackson hall her job to scout for information by breaking into people's minds for Paige is a dreamwalker, a clairvoyant, and in the world of Scion, she commits treason simply by breathing. It is raining the day her life changes forever. Attacked, drugged, and, kid and kidnapped, Paige is trans transported to Oxford, a city kept secret for 200 years controlled by powerful otherworldly race. Paige is assigned to a warden, a I can never say the name, with mysterious motives. He is her master, her trainer, her natural enemy. But if Paige wants to regain her freedom, she must allow herself to be nurtured in this prison where she is meant to die. For uh, it, this book is classified as a dystopian, and I really, I you can definitely see that. Samantha Shannon's writing is just it grips you in the book. I just really love this book. And I kind of started the second one, but I put it on hold 
because I was uh, focused on other things and I didn't want to rush the book because I don't want to like rush it and don't like it. I really enjoyed this book and I cannot wait to go and read the other books in the series especially since the fourth one is coming up next year I guess and uh, the cover of it is really good. That's the fifth book series that I want to finish reading when I can as soon as possible. Those th th series are like priority series on my TBR. So yes, I think I'm gonna get to one of them soon enough. So I guess that's it for this, for today's video. If you liked it, please leave Please click the like button and if you enjoyed this video you can find some more if you subscribe to my channel you can see them in my playlist and if you want to know whenever I post new videos you can click the bell icon also to get that notification whenever I post it so until then bye everyone <laughs>